So I'm sure you've seen a lot of posts on Instagram where a wide or panorama type image is spread out across multiple slides on a single post in Instagram. It's great for showing off a closer look at a wide image so you can see all the details. Or if you're a filmmaker like me, it's great for showing off some stills from your productions or videos. The use cases for this are endless and Instagram is actually more likely to show your posts to people more than once in their feed. So let's say you're scrolling on Instagram and you came across one of my photos and you forgot to like it, as we all do from time to time. Well, later on when you're scrolling back through Instagram, they might actually show you that post again, but this time showing you an image from the second or third post or slide in that photo. So now seeing it a second time, you actually might be more inclined to like it and interact with that post. So today, I'm gonna show you the best way to split your photos for seamless multi-posts on Instagram because it's totally gonna help you get like a million followers. Okay, well, maybe not a million followers, but trust me, it's still a fantastic way to show off your work. Let's get to it. Before we dive right in, here's just a quick reminder to hit that like button down below if you like what you're seeing so far. It'll be a huge help if you let YouTube know that you like and find my videos useful, so that would be much, much appreciated. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up a landscape photo or a still from one of your videos in Photoshop. If you don't have or use Photoshop, you can still follow along with this because the same principles will still apply. So for my example, I will be using a still from a video I shot for this seamless Instagram multi-post, and if you wanna check out the video this still is from, you can just click the little card right up here. Then you're gonna to wanna to create a new document by going up to File and New. Now we need to figure out exactly what dimensions this document has to be in. So first we're gonna to wanna to determine how many photos or how many slides we want our image to take up in Instagram. I know a lot of people like to do two photos, but I like to do three because if you're showing off something that's in a wider, more cinematic aspect ratio, that'll be a much better way of showing off an image like that. So the standard portrait size dimensions of Instagram posts are actually 1080 pixels wide by 1350 pixels high. So by doing a bit of a simple math here, we can figure out the dimensions of our document. The height will be great as is at 1350 pixels, so we can go ahead and type it into the box right over here. And then for the width over here, all you have to do is multiply 1080 pixels by the number of slides you want to have. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll be doing three slides for this. So we just multiply 1080 by three and we get a total of 3240 pixels. So let's go ahead and type that in the width box right over here. Now let's set our resolution to 72 pixels per inch and then hit create. Now we're ready to get our image into this document. So let's go on over to our original image we opened up, then hit Control or Command A on our keyboard to select the whole image, hit Control or Command C on our keyboard to copy, and then hop back on over to our new blank document. Then hit Control or Command V to paste the image in. Now there's a chance it'll be too big, which is fine since we can just scale it down. If it's too small to fill the entire blank space, we can just scale that up, but for quality's sake, it's better to start with an image that is either the right size or bigger. So we can hit Control or Command T on our keyboard to enable transform mode, then scale the image to fit how we want it. And after you finish scaling and moving it in the right place, hit enter on your keyboard to apply the changes. Now, we're ready to start slicing and dicing. Okay, so now we're gonna head on over to the crop tool, click and hold on it, and you will see a few options here. So we're gonna click on the slice tool. Then, before we start making a few slices, we're gonna turn on our grids by clicking Control or Command apostrophe on our keyboard. Now, the grids might not be configured appropriately for our use here, so we can change out the way we want to by going up to Edit, Preferences, then guides, grids, and slices. Then under grid, make sure it's set to 100 and percent. Then depending on how many slides you want on Instagram, you would input that number in subdivisions. So in my case, I'm gonna put three and then hit okay. Now we'll see the image sectioned off into a three by three grid. So with the slice tool selected, we can actually go ahead and drag from outside of the image bounds on the left side and drag all the way down to the bottom right of the first one third of the image. If you don't line it exactly up with the first one third of grid line, that's okay. We can just click and hold then drag the right boundary until it snaps to the first vertical grid line. Then we're gonna repeat this process, this time starting out of the bounds at the top middle of the photo and creating another box going all the way down to the bottom. Then make sure you grab both sides and snap them to the appropriate grid lines. And finally, we're gonna repeat this process one last time, this time starting outside the right side bounds of the photo, going all the way down to the bottom left corner of the last one third of the photo. And just like the other two times, we'll grab the boundary here and make sure it snaps to the grid line over here. Now, you should very clearly see three proper equally sized sections on this photo. Alrighty, now we're ready to save this photo so we can get this awesome seamless carousel multi-post image ready to post on Instagram. All we have to do is head on up to File, Export, then Save for Web. Then, with the slice selector selected, we're gonna click this button right over here to zoom out until we can see the whole image and all our sections or slices. Then, click the first slice on the left, make sure JPEG is selected over here, and then choose maximum for the quality over here. 
Now, do this exact same thing for the other two slices or sections. Then we click save, choose the location you want to save it in, and make sure all slices is selected and click save. Now, when you go to that location, you will see a new folder called images that will contain the three photos. Now, all you have to do is get them on your phone and then you're ready to post them to Instagram. So just transfer the photos to your phone with whichever method that works best for you. So you can use AirDrop, you can use Google Drive, just use whatever you normally use to get those photos over to your phone. Then we can go on over and open up Instagram, then tap on the create post button, then go ahead and choose the first or the leftmost image from your photo that we sliced up in Photoshop. Now, if it's showing it in a regular square one-to-one -one aspect ratio, you're gonna wanna just click on this little button over here with the arrows that's going to expand the image to show it in a four by five aspect ratio. Then come over to the button with the little squares on it to tap that to enable multi-post and then choose the remaining two photos, starting with the middle one and then the last photo. Then we can go ahead and click next. So then if you scroll between them, you'll see how it makes up one whole image, but it does have a little bit of gap between them. Don't worry about this. This is just for preview sake. When it actually posts it, there will be no gap or space between them. Then we can go ahead and click next, add a nice caption over here, tap share, and then we're done. Now you've got a sweet looking seamless carousel multi-post image on Instagram. That was actually quite easy, wasn't it? So if you have any other ways of achieving a similar thing, why don't you leave a comment down below letting me know what your process is. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. And also don't forget to subscribe if you like what you are seeing here today. As always, I'm Alex Perry. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.